In 87, heavy metal ruled a new territory, the top of the pop charts. At one point this year, four bands were in Billboard's top ten. All the bands, Bon Jovi and Whitesnake and Motley Crue and Poison and Cinderella, all these bands are bringing the fun back to rock and roll again, and I think that's what's great. Well, first and foremost, it, we just want everybody to have a good time. Ironically, Aerosmith was the last of these bands to make it to the top ten, even though they were an inspiration for the others. It was my idea to dress and drag because I am androgynous. I can get away with that sort of thing, and I had a good time doing it. Doesn't particularly mean anything, just means that I had a good time doing it. You couldn't, we couldn't keep you from doing it. Finally, after all these years, Americans have shown great taste. <laughs> you know, it's, I think absence makes the heart grow fonder. The revamped White Snake brought back the 70s style of hard rock, and lead singer David Coverdale found his true love in Tawny Katane, who became his fiance after appearing in three of the band's videos. Overcoming incredible odds, Def Leppard released Hysteria. Fans did not forget them during their four-year absence, and the album reached the top five. With more airplay, shorter songs, and an image that appealed not only to metalheads, but also to girls, heavy metal became a lot more accessible to a lot more people. Motley's got a pretty strange crowd, and then there you've got your rockers and your headbangers and a lot of girls, and just, there's a whole mixture of people. Parents showed up at the concerts, too. Quiet rooms sprang up across the country as a place for them to hang out while their kids were at the concert. Some even liked the music. I like Motley Crue. I like girls, girls, girls. That's catchy. That's cool. Bon Jovi was the coolest, though. Slippery When Wet sold 12 and a half million worldwide, and John Bon Jovi set sex appeal records back home. I don't consider myself a sex symbol. I'm a singer in a rock band, you know? And that's all I ever wanted to be, and that's all I'm gonna be. 1987 was the year that saw heavy metal bands get where they wanted to be, the top. I see them